Good day to you, Mother. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive Spa. Is that so? <laughs> Quiet, Tolga. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. You must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. <laughs> Shields dismissed! going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Brewing. I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. All right, let's get this stuff on type of Duchess calls for our head. Phoenix will be with us. Those savages. Remember, it is for us. Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? Preparation is key. They've closed the gates. 
Let's hope the side entrance is still open. Make sure all the crystals are attacked. Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, I, uh, Don't I say to speak? It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand! I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? There's Joshua. Child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. <laughs> Good luck. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? <sighs> Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames? Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. 
Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. No messages, my lord. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave.